Hey, Eric here, and in this video, we're going to discuss the difference between flash storage and SSD. When discussing computer storage capabilities, the term flash storage and SSD are used quite commonly. You might be wondering if these terms are interchangeable or are they different types of storage? Even computer experts tend to use these terms in place of one another, but SSD storage and flash storage are technically different. SSD storage is made up of mostly flash storage, but it has additional components and capabilities. To make the discussion more confusing, however, there are also SSDs made without the use of flash storage. Thus, it is probably easiest to answer this question with a description of what flash storage is. Flash storage is commonly used and it is made from silicone chips. Information can be written on these chips and erased via electrical input from a computer or phone. It is faster than any other types of storage, mainly because it doesn't utilize moving parts. Flash storage can also keep information stored even without a continuous supply of power, unlike the RAM on a computer. Finally, flash storage can be rewritten and overridden hundreds of times with no consequences. Anyone who has tried to rewrite a CD knows that this is not the case with all types of storage. An SSD, conversely, is a storage device, not a storage medium. Usually SSDs are added to a computer and can be upgraded or replaced aftermarket. Many SSDs are made with flash storage. SSD stands for solid state drive and flash storage doesn't have any moving parts. Hence, this is where the solid title comes from. In most cases, SSDs utilize a combination of flash storage and another medium, as this has proven an effective way to add storage to a computer. SSDs often get confused with HDDs, usually due to the similar sounding name. HDDs, or hard disk drives, are another type of computer storage. They store information on moving disks and are the oldest storage method for most computers and other technology. Apart from the fan, you can often hear these disks spinning when you turn on a computer. While HDDs work well to a point, their moving parts subject them to a significant amount of complication. They are still used in some cases because they can store a significant amount of information, but they aren't as widespread as SSDs with flash. A lot of people may be asking, is Apple flash storage the same as SSD? This is another common question that comes up when discussing storage. Apple specifically is mentioned because unlike PC, the company doesn't always provide the full technical information for their product. On most Apple computers, the flash storage is connected directly to the motherboard at the time of production. This is flash storage utilization and not SSD because SSDs are connected in a removable fashion, whereas integrated flash storage is not. This improves performance for Apple computers, but makes them impossible to upgrade once they become older. If you have been researching storage methods, you may have heard or read about something called NAND. In easy to understand terms, NAND is a form of flash storage. It is common in removable USB drives as well as in SSDs. NAND specifically refers to a certain method of cell organization that is used to store the data that it's written on. Only recently has NAND technology become affordable enough to be used on SSDs, as much more memory is required in this application than a USB drive. However, NAND is limited in the amount of rewrites the storage can handle, so it's not currently suitable for server usage. Many computer experts agree that flash storage devices are the best form of storage because they last longer than a flash drive and are faster than most SSDs. This is an odd comparison, however, because flash storage is a more specific type of SSD that uses only one form of storage. When well-maintained, flash storage can last for a shockingly long time. Unlike NAND and USB drives, which have an estimated limit of three years with heavy usage. While there is a massive jump in cost between flash storage and SSDs, the performance increase is well worth it for users with a need for it. Hopefully you found this video helpful and I'll link in the description to products that you may find interesting if you're looking to upgrade your computer and that'll be in the description below. All right guys, take care and good luck.